Yeah, good morning students. Today I Neelam Nigam is going to teach you class 8th computer chapter 4 spreadsheet chart. Yeah, uh, in the previous chapter we have learned spreadsheet uh, formula and functions. So you know in Excel we are giving all data in tabular form. So if your uh, data is very large, so it is very difficult to compare them uh, uh, row wise and column wise. So we can represent that data through the chart. So the chart is a graphical representation of data from a worksheet that can bring more understandable the data than just looking at the numbers. A chart is a powerful tool that allows you to visually display data in a variety of different chart form such as bar, column, line, pie and etc. So when you uh, uh, make a chart, some components are here. This is the outer boundary that is called chart area where your whole chart components are resist. Okay, this is chart area. After that, inside that chart area, this is inner boundary is called plot area where actually you are giving the values of data series that you are plotted here. Okay, then y-axis that represent the values and x-axis that will show the categories. Normally in normal charts, x-axis take the categories and y-axis take the values. So here uh, some more part like this, this is called legend that will represent the different data series with the different pattern or color that you recognize ki which color uh, will show the which, uh, which data series like that. Okay, and these are data labels. This is chart title. Okay, this is x-axis title. This is y-axis title. So, and these are the grid lines that will uh, uh, used to uh, get the easily uh, uh, get a, uh, data values. Okay, so these are the components of Excel chart. Next, you can uh, get the explanation here. Chart area is the entire area that is reserved for accommodating the chart and the components such as legends, title, etc. All the things. Y-axis, it is the vertical line whose length and segments represent different values. The y-axis is used to show the variation of different identities. Okay, x-axis, a horizontal line on which you show the length and segment represent different interval of the values and next is grid lines. Grid lines help in reading the values of the data points. They are scaled according to the values of the axis. Next one plot area where I have told where the your actual chart exists. Okay, the plot area is a part of chart area which contains the actual chart. Data series. Data series means the uh, value of table, the uh, value of rows and column that you want to represent as a chart. That is called data series. Data series is a collection of related values that are plotted on a chart. It represents one value of the data series. Data label means uh, uh, in front of every pillar, in front of every pie. If you want to show the value of that pie or that pillar, that is called data label. Data label is some piece of text which is written near data point to highest some aspect of it. Chart title that represent the name of the chart simply simply and legends legends are some sort of labels that are attached to a symbol or color or pattern that is associated with the series of the chart it is used to distinguish one data series from another means different data series you will use by which color or by which pattern that you will get in the legend title okay now how to make chart? So first you, you should create a table on Excel sheet. Suppose I have given here one table that is profit and loss comparison sheet from cell A1 to 
D6. Your table is exist from A1 to D6. So for making chart, first you select this range A2 to D6 by dragging the mouse over it. Click on the insert tab where you get the chart option. You will get the chart option in insert tab and in the charts group click on any chart type. Here number of charts are given excel provide excel 2007 has provided uh, total 15 types of chart you can take any one by default it will take column chart okay uh, if you are not selecting any type by default it will tell, uh, collect a column chart so first you select the type then select the layout which type of uh, chart you want to 2d 3d that that's type to you uh, choose the layout and then you click the ok button here when you click the ok button your desired chart by default it will present the column chart so this is your uh, way how to create chart it is very simple steps only two steps first you create uh, select the, your table go to insert tab choose the chart type and layout of chart and Next step, when you click the OK button, it will create the chart. Then, now you have seen in Excel total 15 types of chart are there. Okay, so one by one those are important. Uh, we will discuss here. First one is column chart. Okay, so for any type of chart, first you get the data means you should create uh, you will create a table so in a column chart the ver vertical axis this one always display numeric value values and horizontal axis displays time name or other categories see here we will not include the total value here this one is total uh, uh, quarterly representation so that we we are not selecting we are selecting only the table where the different data series exist okay because excel uses a different color for each data series it is easy to see how a single series change over time or compare multiple series over a given time period okay so it uh, in column chart suppose see here through legend you are distinguish ki flower will represent with the purple color uh, shrubs will represent uh, orange color and trees are green color so you can also reformat it means you can decorate the background color if you want to change the data series color you can change it next one is <coughs> pyramid chart after 2007 uh, office 2007 mostly uh, they are representing column chart in the uh, in the place of column chart they are representing cylinders pyramids and cones and they can express their comparison exactly same that you are using in the column chart so here also y axis is a value axis and x axis is a category axis so this is your pyramid chart next one line chart yes as you are using your graph paper in maths no? In maths, you are first you marking the x-axis and uh, y-axis, the point you are taking and then draw a line to join those lines to represent the graph. Same here in line chart is especially effective in displaying trains. The vertical axis always display numeric value. Normally in all charts, the y-axis represent the numeric value and x-axis represent the categories. So here two charts I am showing. First one take single series, single data series and second one showing the multiple data series. So through line chart it is easy to represent single as well as multiple data series come uh, both together. Though not as colorful as the other charts, it is easy to see how effective the line chart is showing a trend for a single series and comparing trends for multiple series of data value. Both you can check here. Single you can also make and you can make multiple series and then compare them. Which value, which uh, uh, category will 
take the higher and lower flow up and down next one is bar chart here bar chart and column chart those are exactly same only difference is there ki bar chart represent horizontally and column chart represent vertically okay so here bar chart uh, y axis represent category and x axis represent the values just opposite of column chart so the bar chart is like a column chart lying on its side the horizontal axis of a bar chart contains the numeric values the first chart below in the bar chart for our single series this one will show only flowers data series and second one is taking the multiple series that will show the flowers shrubs and trees all together in a picture so bar charts do tend uh, tend to display and compare a large number of series better than the other chart series because you can get the uh, bars equally okay next one area chart this is just like line chart but in line chart you are showing only the line where, where the markers are represent but here we can show the below the solid part of a, a solid area after the marker line area charts are like line charts except that the area below the plot line is solid and like line charts area charts are used primarily to show trends over time or other categories the chart above in an area chart for our single series and below the one same here this one is for only flower and this one is for all three data series trees shrubs and flowers okay but you can see here it will represent the solid part of the graph means total how many part it will color, uh, cover from x axis and y axis it will show the solid part so that is the area chart next one is scatter chart okay is scatter chart you will see here another uh, um, table i have given the purpose of scatter chart is to observe how the values of two series compares over time or other categories the scatter chart comes in several different formats means in uh, you can show the marker only means without joining them and also you can show the through line connect those markers with the smooth straight line like this <clears throat> this is your uh, scatter chart this one here we will show only marks only it will represent the marks where the values are display okay but here we will show the solid line so in scatter chart we can use both way in general markers work well when the number of data points are small is small means data values are less so you can use this marker uh, type uh, scatter chart but if your data is large you have taking more values then that is suitable to take the a uh, smooth line and make the uh, all the uh, marks you make with the smooth line so smooth lines without markers are often used when the numbers of data points is large so this is your scatter chart last one is pie chart this is very important chart actually when you want to represent percent wise okay then we will take pie chart and here pie chart will represent in a circle that will show with a 100% and each slices will represent the part of data series but in pie chart we can take at a time only one data series if you are taking more uh, data series at a time it will not consider that it will take only one at a time see here the pie chart displays one series of data a data series is row a row or column of numbers used for charting in the worksheet below we have outlined a single data series single data series only flowers i have taken 
If we had selected multiple data series for the pie chart, Excel would ignore all but the first. Only first one it will take by default. See, so see, I have shown here that you can represent different different data series by the different different pie chart. In one chart, it will take only one data series. So here I have taken flowers, here shrubs, and in that one trees. So uh, this is your uh, pie chart where we are representing the whole as a 100% and the different part of series that will uh, represent as a single single pie. These are called pie chart. Okay. Some other charts are there that are stock, surface, dognard, bubbles and radar. Those are not in your course. So I have not explained here. That's all students. Thank you. God bless you.